Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Mental health fitness is to become a mandatory part of British military training from next year. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And over the last uh, two years, uh, we've made a real effort to completely redesign the mental health care provision for our armed forces personnel, both during uh, their time in service and uh, when they leave. I'm delighted to confirm for the first time this country's armed forces will receive mandatory mental health training every year from the 1st of April uh, next year. And I pay tribute to the service chiefs who've uh, led the way uh, in this significant policy change. Our Duke has been a huge advocate stressing the importance of treating our mental health just as we treat our physical health. He actually spearheaded the development of the mental health platform HeadFit, which aims to help members of the military with their well-being. Launched earlier this year, the website provides defense personnel with round-the-clock access to self-help tools to enhance mood, drive, and confidence. He has been working on HeadFit for over three years. The Duke appears on the HeadFit website, which offers self-help tools to improve mood, motivation and confidence, and reduce stress. In the clip, the former soldier urges members of the armed forces to train their mind and body as one. One single unit. I know this to be true. It works for me. So for yourself, but also those around you, find which resources work for you. Unlock your potential and strive to be head fit for life. Today when we talk about fitness, we don't just mean how fast you can run or how much weight you can carry. This is about mental fitness, strength and resilience. Not just while wearing the uniform, but for the rest of your life. If you want to be truly fit, strong and healthy, you need to train your mind and body as one. Some people run, others swim, cycle or lift weights in order to be physically fit. But what do you do to stay mentally fit? Think about what you could do to unlock your potential and to perform at the highest level. HeadFit is a resource for everyone. Whatever your job, whatever your rank, whatever you've got going on at home. Our service personnel are vital role models in society and we need you to be able to access that extra 10, maybe 15%. Something that can only be attained when you adopt a regular routine for training the mind and the body as one single. Another report. Prince Harry got mistaken for a salesperson when shopping in California. Many royal fans would probably find it hard to not recognize Prince Harry when he is out and about. However, not everyone is well versed on who royals are and what they look like. Harry, who is currently living in California, recently encountered a person who mistook him for a salesperson. At a store, a young boy thought Prince Harry was a Christmas tree salesperson. Harry and his wife, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex recently went shopping for a Christmas tree at a shop in Santa Barbara. Because of their high-profile status, the couple reportedly went during a time when the shop was expected to be empty. However, there was a family there, and Harry had an amusing interaction with their young boy. Salesperson James Almaguer explained, Meghan and Prince Harry came into my work today, and we sold them their Christmas tree. It was anticlimactic, but a very, very interesting experience. He continued. We had our lot empty. When they got there, their agent promoted them a good time to come instead of us shutting it down. There was one family in there and their stoked little son ran through trees up to Harry and asked if he worked here not knowing who that is. It's not clear if the boy ever found out who Harry was, but all Mugwer never said that the prince was bothered by the experience. The actual salesperson has nice thing to say about the Sussexes. According to Al Mugwer, the Sussexes were pleasant customers to work with. He revealed some observations about their personalities based on his interaction with them. He shared, They seem like very nice people honestly. Meghan sounds very kind, and Harry sounded, and acted like a chill lad honestly. I'm really glad they liked our trees. We got the best we could get, very appreciative. How will Prince Harry and Meghan Markle spend Christmas? Christmas will be very different for the royal family this year. Royals often gather at Queen Elizabeth Sandringham Estate every year to celebrate Christmas together. However, because of the coronavirus, COVID-19 pandemic, Her Majesty and Prince Philip will only be able to see a few people. Harry and Meghan are not included in the list of family members who are likely to show up at Sandringham. The couple has not returned to the UK 
at all since they moved to California in March, and the Sussexes will reportedly just celebrate Christmas at their new home. However, Megan's mom, Doria Ragland, might visit the Sussexes and their son, Archie. Royal expert Penny Jr. said that it could be difficult for the royal family to not be together. I am sure the Queen will be very sad not to see Harry and Meghan and her youngest great-grandchild. Harry gets on very well with his cousins, and I guess he will miss seeing them and, of course, he will miss spending time with his grandparents whom he adores. We just want to annoy you for three seconds. That is, please click the subscribe button to get more attractive videos from us. Your support is also the motivation for our team to produce better videos with more quality content. And now we do not let you wait any longer. Let's start the story. Meghan Markle and Harry are about to get a famous neighbor. Ellen DeGeneres and Meghan Markle have both had a tough go with the press in 2020. The talk show host's allegedly bad behavior and toxic work environment came under fire multiple times this year. And, well, pretty much everything Meghan says, does, and wears comes under scrutiny on a global scale. These two would probably have a lot to commiserate about in regard to being public figures. While it's unclear if they actually have a close relationship at this time, that just might happen very soon. In early December 2020, DeGeneres and her wife Portia de Rossi will become neighbors with Meghan and Prince Harry. They just bought Dennis Miller's estate in Montecito, California for $49 million. This isn't the first time that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will have famous neighbors. When the couple initially moved to the United States, they were staying at Tyler Perry's home, which happened to be on the same street where Adele lives. The close proximity reported resulted in a close friendship between the pair and the singer. Does this mean that DeGeneres will become a part of their new post-royal family inner circle? Ellen DeGeneres deemed Prince Harry and Meghan Markle the cutest couple. When the news broke about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's engagement, in November 2017, Ellen DeGeneres joked, My family is about to get a little bit bigger. Kate Middleton is my 15th cousin, so that makes Prince Harry's fiancé my other cousin. Meghan claimed DeGeneres convinced her to adopt a dog, which DeGeneres didn't actually remember herself, prompting her to quip, Obviously she does whatever I tell her to do. While she didn't remember the dog adoption encouragement, DeGeneres did spend time with the couple in summer 2019, which she shared on her show. She told her audience, Here's a sentence I thought I would never say. I spent the afternoon with Prince Harry and Meghan. She joked, I just want to say it was an honor for them to meet me, DeGeneres said. I mean, I can't tell you how sweet they are. DeGeneres claimed that the Duke and Duchess are so amazing, Describing them as the cutest couple who's so down to earth, she defended them against the constant criticism, saying, I just, I hate it. I see them get attacked, and it's just not fair. They're just two of the most down to earth, compassionate people. She also praised Meghan and Harry for the conservation work they were doing, and Botswana for the elephants, in addition to revealing that she got to hold and feed baby Archie. Ellen DeGeneres has Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's backs. At this point, it's unclear if Ellen DeGeneres has a close relationship with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle behind the scenes, but she has had no issue backing them up publicly. In summer 2019, people were furious with the royals for traveling via private plane, since they are vocal about taking care of the environment. In response to all of the backlash, the comedian tweeted, Portia and I met Prince Harry and Meghan in England to talk about their work on wildlife conservation. They were the most down-to-earth, compassionate people. Imagine being attacked for everything you do when all you're trying to do is make the world better. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Stop.